All right, YouTubers. Um, this is on the uh, grass packer. I uh, ordered the grass packer um, over all the other choices after doing a little bit of research. The unfortunate part is I couldn't find anything online um, about the grass packer. Um, YouTube had a couple of videos, but not very much and not very many reviews, so I thought I would do one. Um, it's going on this zero turn, Kubota 724, and I got my grass packer delivered today. And here is how the box came. Torn out just a little bit, but not a big deal. Just the way it is. I will say before I go on, the owner of Grass Packer is very responsive. He answered all my questions. He even took extra time to make sure the measurements would line up and everything was correct. So I appreciate him for that. Um, I got the Grass Packer because, I'll just pan around here real quick. I have three acres and unfortunately we get this grass it's kind of like a hay grass I try to get rid of it for a couple of years now and I'm not putting any more money into trying to get rid of it but it leaves huge clumps on the ground so um, I decided to go this route and try to get rid of the clumps so we'll see how it works out I'm gonna be pausing the video from time to time for the boring stuff and then uh, come back to you Okay guys, I'm back with you. So, get ready to, actually I've already marked my holes. And uh, just show you what I was kind of up against. I had to get this little old metal bar that I had from old gazebo. Because I'm sure this is a lot easier with two people, but there's only one of me. So, I had to improvise. So what I did, is I took a grass packer. Second, sorry. And I wind it up. So that's lined up right there. And then I took my bracket and I kind of just went, if you can see the the bar sticking up where the grass packer latches. Um, I kind of just took that and lined it up with the hole that's right there. And then down here, I kind of lined it up there with the arrow um, where this end sticks in. So we'll see how this turns out once I drill the holes and I'll be back with you. I'm not gonna show you drilling the holes. I think uh, if you're putting this on, you don't know how to drill a hole. Well, you have a lot bigger problems. All right, be back okay with you. guys, back with you here. Um, so I went ahead and Put the bracket on and um, man this thing fits really tight um, really snug all the way around um, there's one thing I'm going to do which um, grass packer says you can do um, let me show you how this comes off here so you just pick up and slide I use two hands here and it comes off like that so you line up this yellow arrow to this first and then this angle iron fits in that hole and just push it down but um, one thing I'm going to do since my mower outlet is almost 15 inches where that black line is I'm going to cut the plastic out to make the chute a little bit larger so I'm going to do that and uh, get that cut out just do it with a sawzall or whatever you want to do it with so I'm going to do that and then we're going to get to some mowing. All right guys, back with you. Just got that cut out, what I showed you before. Um, there's a piece. I just used that air saw. If you don't have an air saw, you can use a um, jigsaw, whatever you want to use. It's just plastic. All right, let's get this thing hooked up and see how she moves.
Sorry about that. I know there was a delay in there. Me getting the mower ready. Okay. So, just for some uh, perspective here, um, I mowed what three or four passes, but I also have a lot of property. So, three acres, uh, four passes, and let's see where we're at on four passes. guys four passes on approximately about 200 foot so I would say uh, two, four, about 800 foot of, of um, grass cutting there so all right y'all take care bye